Hey YouTube, it's your girl Davina Love, back with another video. Welcome back, welcome back. How are you doing, my busy bees? Staying busy, I hope. Mm-hmm, keeping it sexy, always. And today, I have got a three-parter for you. I know. Get yourself a snack, grab a seat. Your girl was up late night watching Instagram's reels and TikToks and was inspired to try some of them. So, this one is, I, I didn't know exactly what to do, so I was like, okay, this is how we're going to have to do it. Instead of the eyeshadow first, we're going to do the foundation first. So, what you need is your foundation, your primer, a cream, your concealer, a glitter drop, your setting spray, and any kind of powder and you mix it all together on the back of your hand mm -hmm. so I put it in a little bowl because of my, my little broken wing here and it looks like a gloopy mess but that's the way it goes you mix all that stuff together but to start you're going to set your, you're going to spray on setting spray. And you want your face to be moist. Okay. And you're going to use your concealer and you're going to conceal what you need to conceal. And I don't really conceal that much, right? Just about here is good. Get it on my eyes and stuff. <coughs> use a boogie blender to blend her out just a tad and what this is supposed to do is give you like a studio finish blurring effect so we shall see we shall see and this is the weird part now you take your setting powder and you're going to set your face. But I'm like, whoa, okay. So I'm going to use what little bit of this Becca Hyper Mist that I have left. And just put her on here. Blend her out. She didn't put a whole lot. She just dabbed it around. I don't know if it's to stick to the setting powder or not. But you just put it on your face. That's what she did. And I was like, okay, girl. I got you so far. Okay. Now for the foundation. And I'm just going to lop it around. It's quite thick. So, but it's gloopy too. So I'm like, ugh, I don't get it. I don't get it. It is not moving. <laughs> Maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> See how it just glooped off? It's not really moving. But yeah, I mixed all the things together. Maybe I laid it too long. Oof. It's in my mouth. It's everywhere. Hold on. I'm going to use my brush. And I'm going to use some more setting spray in the bowl because maybe that's what needs it, you know, to happen. The brush will probably be better, and then I'll dab it. Or I can mix it up with the brush a little bit, thinning it out. Yeah, that works a lot better, Putting at least getting it on. Ooh, and it covers a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. As far as, like, I had some acne scars here that were needing Jesus a little bit. You guys couldn't really see them. And I had a few dark marks. But 
yeah. It is all up in there. She's gone. Not bad at all. Still got a lot left over, though, so it's kind of a waste. But I guess that's why they do it for the gram or for the TikToks, right? So now we just blend it out. I can see the glitter all over my face. <laughs> like little specks here and there. So I guess if you shined a light on it, it would definitely blur out some glitter. Alright, and then we will set again with some powder. But not as not not as much as I usually would because I still have to contour. But it is very glittery on my face. Maybe I'll have to try some different glitter drops or something because this glitter drops I think is a little too glittery for this uh, project as far as execution wise because I don't know if you guys can it's like Tinkerbell got me all over my face it's not just in one spot it is literally everywhere but <laughs> this is for the sake of you know so you don't have to do it and mess up but so far like I don't know if you can see that the glitter but so far so good I sometimes when I open my mouth I can see the glitter so to contour I use my Lovecraft beauty And she just contoured as normal. It does look good. So, can't say it's not a success or not, but I don't think it's not bad at all. But I feel it's a waste of a lot of product. Like, I used a lot of product more than I normally would. warm up the skin and then oops put the rest of this away now I'm gonna use a little of the uh, Patrick Star powder to bake a little and I love the way his powder just melts into the skin That's why I'm going to use it to bake and not to, I, I've tried it as um, I would normally do to um, to not to set but to um, protect myself from fallout from the shadows and it didn't seem to work that well for that because it really does absorb into the skin and blurs really pretty like but it being a protection no it baking yes that it does do okay and then just all that away I don't want to bake for too long. I'm already toasty. Okay. So what do you think? So far so good, right? I, I kind of like it. Not too bad. But it, I still feel it's a lot of product. Because I still have a lot wasted in the bowl. I still have some on the spatula. I still have a lot in the brush. Like, a lot in the brush. Like, I could probably do a whole... A whole another face so I wouldn't recommend it for that and I'm going to use this uh, Too Faced palette to blush Woo, and it's glittery too 
So I'm gonna be shining like the the words I couldn't remember from under the sea. You know, look at me. I'm definitely gonna be shining. Cause this is glitter, glitter, glitter. And she was doing a lot of glitter. I wish I could link it in the description. I don't know exactly how. But the girl was using a lot of glitter in that video. Alright. And then I'm gonna use the highlight. I'm just using the two on the top, the peach and the this one. Mm, she's pretty. Only thing that discourages me from this palette is the smell. Like it has a sickly sweet candy smell that I can't get over. <laughs> I just don't really feel that I can get over it. You know what I mean? And I'm just going to take whatever's left and put that on my eye. Because why not be shining all over, right? And that makes a nice little wash of color eyeshadow too. And then for the lip, I'm going to use a really vivid red. And I'm really inspired by this top. I really, really am. So I won't be having a part three. I probably, yeah, I will be. It's going to be in three parts. This one is the foundation. base of a the makeup and the next one will be eyeshadow and then lashes of the day so if you like these kinds of tutorials please like subscribe I'd love to have you join the family and I will see you all in part two Trying to get into this holiday season, you guys, you know, honestly. Does this red suit me? Uh, I think so. <laughs> Bye.